Hey, good morning. It's Monday, October 5th. Uh, good to start another week with you. We're still here. <laughs> the world hasn't ended yet. Seems like it sometimes, though, doesn't it? Anyway, this morning I'm going to have three questions for you to help you love as Christ loves you. We talk about this being Christ-like, being Christ followers, um, loving Jesus, but that has to move at some point out of the plaques and platitudes and into the stuff of real life if we're to have an impact on the people that we love and on our children. We're to impress the things on our heart into the hearts of those that we love. That's what God has commanded us to do. The problem is that we're always impressing something. Is it the legitimate love of God? So there's a passage in Matthew 11 that we, again, hear a lot. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. It's an invitation that Christ makes. And certainly we agree that this is the way that Jesus is. But how can we live before the people that we love, that we care most deeply for, in such a way that they will see Christ in us and come to us that way. Well, they will feel secure that they can come to me and know that they will be find rest and they will be protected, they will be loved and honored no matter what. Well, here are three questions to help you and, and me be Christ-like in our daily life as we interact with those that we love and care for? How can we become an encourager to those whom we love to help us love them when they are hurting? First question, do, you, do those who love you have confidence that they can express the joys and fears of their heart and know that they will be loved and protected regardless of what they say or share? Or are they concerned that if I say the wrong thing or if I say something that's embarrassing or if I say something that I'm struggling with, whether it's a sinful pattern or, or whatever, that they're going to be shut down? Or if, say if they tell us something that's hard for us to hear, are they, do they have an expectation that we will listen carefully or do they have an expectation that there will be a, just a rapid series of defensive responses? telling them how they're wrong. Proverbs are useful for this. You know, chapter 18 tells us, don't answer before we listen. And that means don't answer in your heart as well. So that's the first question. Do those who you love have confidence they can come and share the openness, openly share the secrets of their heart and know that they will be cared for and shepherded? Second, in your daily communication, are you an advocate or an accuser in the way you interact with those that you love and are close to? Do your expressions, questions, thoughts, reactions indicate that you're an advocate for them, you're encouraging to them, you appreciate them, or this accusing spirit, I wish you could have done better, or come on, you, you gotta do better, gotta do better, Come on, get with the program. We're running late. How many times? Are you sure you really mean that? Are you an advocate? Man, so good to be with you today. <laughs> you know, you're really cool. And to say that they're really cool, you appreciate them when they've gone and messed up, that makes you an advocate rather than an accuser. And thirdly, lastly, are you able to pray with those that you love about the areas of struggle that you have in your walk with God? Can you be that open with them so that you can ask them to pray with you about the areas that you're struggling with? Not just, how can I pray for you? Let's pray so that you can do better. Let's pray so that you can stop complaining. But asking those close to you, husbands, children, wives, whatever, those that you really care about, 
hey, could you pray with me? I'm struggling about something right now. I need your help. I want to follow Christ. I want to see him as my refuge. So those are those three questions. They're eminently practical. Do the people that you know and love most dearly, can they share the fears, concerns, worries of their heart with you? Because if they don't do it with you, they'll do it with somebody else. Are you an advocate or an accuser in the way you go about your daily life with those you love? And are you able to be able to pray with those that you do love and ask them to pray with you about the things that are hard for you? Three questions. But this is how we show Christ to those that we love so that we in turn can be truly Christ-like so that we can be that refuge for them. When we become that kind of a refuge, we can also become the resource that Christ wants us to be. And that's the thought for the day. It's uh, good to be with you this Monday and uh, just pray that God would give us a week of showing Christ to those that we love. Have a great day. Bye.